Hey guys, George at Soundtracks here, and this week we're gonna talk about our Hyperdrive 2. Hyperdrive 2 is our next generation of motor control algorithms. Now Hyperdrive 2 you can find in our Ekonami products as well as our Tsunami 2 products. Now let me show you how this works. Now in the original Tsunami there were some things that were hard coded and we'll talk about those today. That caused the decoder to have a little bit of a slight surge when you first went from zero to speed step one. Now with the Tsunami 2 we've got the new hardware and we have the new firmware inside so it helps give you a nice smooth start every time throughout the entire speed range. Now on this locomotive here this is an Athern factory installed Genesis SD60E locomotive that we're just taking straight out of the package. Now on our command station we're using 128 speed step mode and this is going to be important. So when we go to 128 speed step mode we move the locomotive to speed step one you're going to see how nice and smooth that you can actually count time between ties as your locomotive is moving. Now when using this in your locom on your layout, we recommend 128 speed step mode because it gives you much more refined control, smaller differences between speed steps so that when your locomotive moves, you get a nice smooth slow response. Now when I take my command station and I move it into 28 speed step mode and now I move forward at speed step one, you can see how much faster that locomotive is moving. That's because in 128 speed step mode versus 28 speed step mode. In 28 speed step mode, you're essentially moving five speed steps for every one that you would in 128 speed step mode. And so therefore, you really wanna make sure that you've got the best refined motor control on your layout at all times. So this way you get a nice smooth control of your locomotive. Now one of the new CVs in our Hyperdrive 2 that's in your Tsunami 2 and your Ekonami is CV215 and this is called a back EMF reference voltage. Now on the original Tsunami this was hard coded into the firmware of the Tsunami and it told the decoder to expect 16 volts on the rails. Now the reason this is important is because when the decoder expects 16 volts on the rails it's expecting a certain back EMF or millivolts coming back from the motor based on 16 volts. Well, if you're running a 13 volt layout and your decoder is expecting 16 volts, what happens is it's going to overcompensate and so that motor is gonna get more powered until it sees the approximate back EMF reference voltage. So by allowing you to customize this and adjust that CV to match the track voltage that's actually on your layout, you're gonna get a nice smoother response throughout the entire speed range, especially at startup. So CV215 is written as 160 or 16.0 volts. Now on this particular power cab system, I have 13 and a half volts on the track. So I'm gonna set CV215 to 135, which represents 13.5 volts. Now you can adjust this to match your layout, whichever system you're using. Now for more detailed information on what we just talked about, please go to our website at soundtracks.com and download the user's guide and look through that and it's going to go into more detail with English explanations on how all these features work.